guys have been missing me, right? And, um, today, sorry I haven't been making a video lately. I just have been going to school, doing tutoring, and I just have to be a kid sometimes. Because it's very important being a kid. Understand? Riding my bike, playing with my toys and everything, that's being a kid. So, and if you look at the date this was uploaded on Friday the 6th, 2013, you might be wondering, hmm, should she be in school? If you looked in your house and you see how bad the weather is in yours, it's like, at our place, it's this stick of ice. It's not snow. And we're going to show some pictures of it, so don't worry. And I'm going to be out there stepping on it, so... And my grandma's onions are frozen outside because the weather, so. And this is a no weather bad day, so we don't go to school. That's what I call it. Or I say. So, to, anyway, enough chit chat. So now we are going to get to the video. So this is the one brand makeup tutorial. And this brand we're doing. Jewel up. Jewel up. Julep maybe. So let's get started. What we're going to use? We're going to be using a julep lip. And think about it. You think they only sell nail polish? Well, you're wrong. They sell makeup. Um, first they had this um, julep lip balm, and it's SPF 15. And then we had the blank canvas magnifying face primer. But um, here you go. Face primer, and it's a DD concealer, and I love the little um, shape. This is like this is a little container concealer. What is this? Julep eyeshadows. Dun dun. And yes, I'm gonna be creating my own makeup look today. How exciting! I got some eyeliner from Julep. It's brown and black, so I'm going to use the brown. And this is for the blush that we're using, the red. And this is called Lady in Red. This is the packaging the lipstick comes in. Now for the lips, we are doing this color called TE42, which is a really sweet name. And this lip gloss from Julep, and I love it, and it's called Timeless. So let's get started with the look. And I already washed my hands, and you're going to need hand sanitizer, don't worry. I'm using Wild Da Da Da, I don't know, and it's from Bath and Body Works. So that's enough. So it smells good here. First, I'm gonna put some in this lip balm, and it's vanilla mint, my favorite. But it doesn't even smell vanilla in here. And yes, I have my mirror. If you wonder what I'm looking in. Now I'm going to put some magnifying face primer and it tingles your lips. You only need a little bit of this.
blend it in. So now you're ready. You're almost done preparing your face. You only need two more things, so. Next we are going to use the DD cream from Julep. And only a dot. So now this is all you need, or more than that you need. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. so that's all you need. So I'm going to wipe the excess on my towel. Kind of blending it in. Okay, now we're going to do the eye primer from Drew Up. Now we are going to do the um, eyeshadow from Julep. First I'm going to take Coco. Wait. This, this one right here with this brush to put on the base. And dusty. Put that all over the lid for the base, for the light base, so. <sighs> okay, now we're going to take, put my brush off. Now we're going to take this one, wait, no, this brush. And this is Sigma E Eyeshading E55. E I'm going to take the second color. Wait, no, actually the fourth color on the palette. Put that just on the lid. Like, I'll show you. Wait just a minute. And yes, there's fallout on this, like, I look closely with some of my eyes, so I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to take this brush, which is this one, a filbert brush. It's a paintbrush, really, so. Now I'm going to take the second color in the palette. Put that as a highlight. I know I'm already doing a highlight. But that's okay. I'm going to be adding some more colors. So, yeah, so I'm going to take the very, very last color is this brush. And I'm just going to lightly tap that over the eyeshadow. Take the dirt color and we'll put it on top again. And we'll take the first color that we use, the fourth one.
And then I'm gonna blend it again. And this is a wearable look, so don't worry. And now I'm gonna put some in a corner. So I'm gonna take the first color. So there we go for the eyes, almost, because I got the eyeliner. So for the eyeliner, I'm going to use the brown. I know it's kind of... This one looks better, though. You cannot make it exact. So now I'm going to figure out how to put this on my, on me, and this. Now I'll put my lipstick. There's not that much color on it. Because we want it to be neutral. Now we're going to put a gloss. So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.